Hello, everyone. Project Lakute Torah, the summary, the short summary for DAF 17, DAF Yed Zayin, the Mimer of Yitzhak Yitzchak, the Surah Basada. Now, the verse says in Precious Chai Sarah, the Yitzchak went out to talk in the field before night, Lif Nais Erev. So, what is the deeper meaning of the difference between? field that he went to talk in the field as opposed to talking in the city. So the field is where grain grows and provides sustenance. But people don't live in the field, they live in the city. So this is an analogy for understanding two types of Torah within the oral Torah. We have Mishnas and Brasas. Now Mishnah gives us the most essential teaching of the Torah, Torah Shbapa of the Halacha. And the Braisa comes to explain the details of the application of these Mishnas. Now, even though it would seem that the Braisa is on a lower level of the Mishnah, in truth, there's actually an advantage to the Braisa over the Mishnah. Why? Because just like a field has an advantage over the city. That this, even though people don't live in the field, that they get their sustenance from the field. So they're dependent on the field. So too, even though our minds grasp the Mishnah and it's reasoning more easily than the Brisa, nevertheless, our main sustenance is from the Brisa where the details are specified and we're, we're closer to getting to the practical halacha within the details. Now we can understand the verse. When it says Yitzhak, Yitzhak, that Yitzhak went out, this means, uh, this represents the fear of Hashem. The person has to have when one person goes out into the world. And lasuach literally means to talk, but here we can also understand it to mean to bend down meaning to go down from this higher level of learning Mishnah into a seemingly lower level of learning Braises, which is the idea of Basada in the field, being in the field, learning the Braises. Lifnais Erev before night can also mean Lafanais Erev, to clear out the spiritual darkness of night by revealing the details of the Torah law as they apply in our physical world. Even though in our world, there are dark situations of unholiness, like for example, in the Mishnah, or there's a, in the oral Torah, there's cases of where a person is lying in a court, court of law and how to deal with those situations. Nonetheless, the Torah shows us how to reveal Hashem even in those situations. And the more details we get in the Brises, we're able to deal with and refine the darkness of the physical world. And that is the summary for this mimer. I hope you have a wonderful day.